Hello, I'm Aubrey from Rhino Shrinkwrap. The scaffolding industry has moved forward a tremendous amount in recent years with advances in safety, in technology and standards. And at Rhino, we believe that sheeting should be moving forward also. I'm going to give you the most complete and honest guide to scaffold shrink wrapping and how it's different to every other product that's on the market. You can then decide for yourself if it's going to be a good fit for you and your next project and you'll be able to advise your clients as well. Today we're in Russell Square which is right in the heart of London. We've got an installation team on site right now and we're encapsulating the scaffolding around the historic and beautiful Russell Hotel which is right behind me here. In this video I'm going to answer some of the questions that you might have if you're looking at shrink wrap sheeting for the first time. So the questions we're going to be answering today, what is scaffold shrink wrap? How is it different to traditional scaffold sheeting that you might have seen? And finally, why do scaffolders and contractors use shrink wrap sheeting? In its basic form, really, scaffold shrink wrap is an LDPE polythene film that has got two really important characteristics. Number one, it's designed to shrink really powerfully. So that means when you put it around the scaffolding and you heat shrink it, it's going to fit really, really tightly and that's what makes it so strong and so robust. The second feature of uh, shrink wrap sheeting is that it can be joined you know, and heat welded to other sheets really easily. So that means that not only is there no, there's no limit to the size or the shape of the scaffold structure that you might want to shrink wrap, but also it enables you to create really, really effective containment because really it, you can create a, a continuously bonded skin around the entire scaffolding. So why did um, the client and the scaffolder choose shrink wrap sheeting for this project? Well, firstly, as part of the refurbishment project here, the fantastic terracotta exterior of this building is going to be blasted, it's going to be cleaned, and of course here we are right in the middle of central London, and a huge amount of pedestrians uh, and just you know, traffic. and that blasting is obviously going to create a lot of dirt, uh, a lot of water and the sheeting is going to contain that blast residue. Traditional sheeting, which is just put on, as I've said already, lift by lift around the scaffolding, so sort of like almost in two to three metre uh, drops or, you know, or wide strips around the scaffolding, it's going to be, no matter how well you fit that, there's going to be a lot more gaps for the blast residue. Uh, to escape from. Probably the sheeting is going to have to be up for around 12 months and over that time obviously it's going to get a huge amount of battering from wind and rain. Shrink wrap sheeting obviously fits very tightly, doesn't tend to flap, doesn't tend to stretch and so the sheeting you know will maintain its integrity for the full life of the project. Really, it's those two characteristics that we've talked about. The fact that you can heat shrink it, drum tight, and the fact that you can weld sheets together to create a completely sealed skin around the scaffolding. That is really the fundamental difference between scaffold shrink wrap and other products. So, going into a little bit more detail, traditional scaffold sheeting products tend to be fitted lift by lift around the scaffolding, whereas scaffold shrink wrap tends to be fitted. Really, there's no limit to the drop that you could do, but for an, an exterior scaffolding, we would generally drop around six meters before uh, fixing it back to the scaffolding. The way that scaffold shrink wrap sheeting is fixed back to the scaffolding is another major difference between it and more traditional products. So, traditional sheeting was fixed to the scaffolding using bungees. Um, 
whereas shrink wrap sheeting is wrapped around a scaffolding tube and then heat welded back onto itself. Because there's no bungees, which can over time can stretch and become loose, don't tend to, you know, after a while they start to lose their elasticity, that doesn't happen with shrink wrap sheeting and that is one of the reasons why it is, tends to be used on very, very exposed situations like bridges, anywhere where um, the sheeting detaching could have really uh, serious consequences. But not only is shrink wrap sheeting attached differently, because it's heat shrunk, it fixes and moulds very tightly around the scaffolding. And that means that it doesn't tend to flap and chafe and eventually you know, sort of self-destruct like you can get with traditional products. So shrink wrap is it's a very robust product and it enables you to create really, really effective seal, which is what you're looking for if you want to try to create any kind of containment. If you've watched this video and you've got an immediate question or you've got a project in mind that you'd like us to uh, give you some help or advice with, head over to our uh, website, which is www.rhinoshrinkwrap.com. Uh, give us a call, send us an email, and our super friendly team will be happy to help.